Hey you, are you tired of anime? Are you tired of mainstream shonen? Are you tired of the One Piece, Dragon Ball, Naruto grind? Well then this video is for you because today I'm giving you three underrated anime that you may not have seen yet. Let's check it out. My first pick is one that is very near and dear to my heart. It is Monthly Girls Nazaki-kun. And sadly, this show has only received one season of anime. The manga is still ongoing, as far as I know. But this show is comedic genius. If you like a mixture of like something with like Tora Dora, The Secret Life of Psyche K, then this is the perfect anime for you. Basically, I'm not gonna spoil anything. But basically, this show is about kind of a successful manga artist that's in school, and this girl has a huge crush on him, and she confesses her crush to him, and he mistakes it as uh, she's like. A super hardcore fan that just wants an autograph or to like appreciate him and then he ends up somehow taking her under his wing to help her or to help him create manga and it's it sounds silly but it's actually genuinely hilarious it's nice to see that like most anime a lot of the time it's the guy chasing the girl it's nice to see the girl chasing the guy and really not get that reciprocated like uh, feeling or just going over their head because that's a very very real feeling I feel like especially in like your early stage of dating so I would say if you like slice of life or comedy in your anime monthly girls and Mizaki kun is an amazing pick number two on my list is handyman Saito in another world now this one is kind of a good in-between of like, it gives you kind of a slice of D&D &D and comedy. Basically, Saito is a handyman who doesn't feel very appreciated as they're in their in their work as a handyman, like I think many of us could relate to. Um, and they kind of start feeling, I guess, uh, like underappreciated constantly and in, in search of that. But unfortunately, they end up getting hit by a speeding truck. Um, which is pretty Yu Yu Hakusho of them and they go into this fantasy realm uh, where they're put into this party of people that have all these different unique quirks that they kind of find a way to like help balance help like kind of even out and they kind of almost like become an essential part or cog in this turning wheel of this party almost like the, and it's almost like this weird like little DD party but it's a very very fun simple anime that's got like a kind of quirky plot and is uh it's a little saucy not too saucy though like not neck beard limit and uh it's just a good time overall as far as i know there's also only one season so it's a pretty easy watch right now if you're just interested in the anime and not the manga check handyman site to in another world out last but certainly not least is golden boy now golden boy is a weird pick because it's almost kind of one of those things like a troll 2 kind of scenario where it's kind of so bad that it's good especially the english dub of the anime and and keep in mind keep in mind there's only six episodes so this is such an easy watch and even if you hate it you don't waste that much time but basically kentaro the main character in golden boy is a freelancer kind of guy bouncing from job to job that doesn't really have a super clear background as to where he came from or where he's going um, and he just bikes around in different areas finds different jobs to do and kind of just winds up in quirky scenarios all while being kind of like a master roshi type kind of like a little on a weird like you know spectrum kind of pervy but like very innocent at the same time um it's a very very funny show that has just so many unique uh, circumstances that Kentaro winds up in um, and again is very much more on the realm of kind of that monthly girls kind of show I was talking about where he's just kind of this like pathetic like, character that's just in search of something um, to make it to add to his life and uh, I'm not going to spoil if he ever finds it or not, but uh, Golden Boy is so worth watching and I have even read the manga and the manga is also pretty good. And again, the anime, only six episodes, so definitely check Golden Boy out if you've just got that ADHD brain like myself and you need to get something in and out real, real quick and uh, be able to see if you like it or not. Well, fellow weebs, that is my list of three underrated anime you should be watching right now. I hope you enjoy them. Let me know if you have any underrated anime that you love in the comments below don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification and also let me know if you watch any of these animes i would love to hear your takes uh and until next time i'll see you later bye